Venus is the second closest planet to the Sun, orbiting at a distance of about 67 million miles. Venus rotates very slowly on its axis. One day on Venus lasts 243 Earth days. The planet orbits the Sun faster than Earth, however, so one year on Venus takes only about 225 Earth days, making a Venusian day longer than its year. Venus has a solid surface covered in dome-like volcanoes, rifts, and mountains, with expansive volcanic plains and vast, ridged plateaus. Venus' thick atmosphere traps heat creating a runaway greenhouse effect making it the hottest planet in our solar system with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. The greenhouse effect makes Venus roughly 700 degrees Fahrenheit hotter than it would be without a greenhouse effect. Venus is permanently shrouded in thick, toxic clouds of sulfuric acid. You know? Scientists have detected phosphine on Venus. This gas is produced by microbes that live in oxygen-free environments. This means that there is a chance that we have found traces of life in the clouds of Venus. Venus is unusually hot, and no life could survive there. But it is believed that the planet was once cold and wet, with conditions that could have allowed life to start more easily. About 3 to 4 billion years ago, Venus was cooler when the sun was less hot. At that time, the temperature on Venus would have been similar to a pleasant spring day on our Earth. Within a few million years of our solar system's formation, the surface of Venus had cooled and Venus was just the right distance from the sun. The heavens opened and great storms flooded the surface, rivers of water flowed and Venus became a sea world. The planet's atmosphere allowed it to hold the oceans by acting as a blanket, keeping the surface temperate thanks to the greenhouse effect. Then as the sun gets bigger, Venus gets hotter. Water starts to dry up, all living things there die due to lack of water and heat.